Barakata Yehawa, Barakata Yehavashai, Baishim Rakakudash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yehawa Baishim Yehavashai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the Brother Rahaya with another video, and I'll be playing this clip from uh, CBS LA showing uh, the further persecution coming towards the truth. Because as you see from uh, the image here, you've got a poster up saying Yahweh Shai is coming, which is the truth. But uh, the title of this video is Police Investigating Anti-Semitic Signs, Vandalism Throughout LA Area. Esau Edom's got his back against a corner. He know this he knows this truth has been spread to the ends of the earth and that Israel is waking up in mass numbers, and that means that uh Yahweh by Shim Yahushai returning is right around the corner to save his elect and put an end to his rulership. And Esau Edom clearly doesn't want that because he doesn't want that thousand years of hardcore bondage and slavery before his permanent eradication. So he's having to scramble to put together this persecution and bring about his new world order. But it's all for naught. You can't do anything against the truth, but for the truth. This is Isaiah 29. I'm going to start at 15. Woe or destruction unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, bringing about this persecution campaign, making it seem like it's a so-called black Hebrew Israelites who are anti-Semitic, putting up these signs and going and uh, shooting up a... Uh, kosher delis and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us we're using that left hand magic to manipulate the people into thinking these hebrew israelites are a threat on the level of uh, isis or al-qaeda surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay all this uh, wickedness you've been committing ever since you came into the little rulership of your season, beginning with the Renaissance, is all for naught. The Most High set you up to uh, bring you to a certain extent to fulfill prophecy, only to bring you down. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? So, Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Of course not. The Most High made you and the Most High put the thoughts in your head to come against him and come against uh, this truth to again fulfill prophecy. Is it not yet a very little while and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness the elect the 144,000 and the rest of the righteous one third hearing this uh, word and uh, coming back to their power, Yahweh by Hashem Shai, the meek also shall increase their joy in Yahweh and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, especially you elites such as you Rothschilds and you Rockefellers, and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off when it's time for Yahweh to return and save his elect and put the final nail in the coffin of your rulership. Taking down Babylon the Great, which is the biblical name for America, with 200 million nuclear missiles, as well as the laser beams from the chariot of the Most High, and then sending his 144,000 hunters to come and enslave the rest of you Edomites that are left that make a man an offender for a word. Yahweh is coming is considered a anti-Semitic. And Yahweh and Yahweh are two words, two of the most powerful words in existence and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught, bringing all this heat on the truth to justify taking our videos off the internet and then eventually coming after the men of the Lord on the highways and byways and locking us up in these prisons. But it's all for naught because uh, in the end, you Edomites are going to fail miserably. Concern is rising in the Jewish community after a series of anti-Semitic incidents over the last several days. CBS 2's Amy Johnson shows us and has reaction from local Jewish leaders. 
These signs popped up near the kosher market in the 400 block of La Brea early this week. This um, is cause for uh, further investigation and hopefully uh, some clarity as to who indeed is uh, trespassing in this way. Richard Hershott is the regional director for the American Jewish Committee. The signs spark fear for some in the community because they may have a connection to their horrific attack at the market in Jersey City last week. There have making a man an offender for a word and notice how uh, these heathens or Eve don't say the name Yahweh in this video, just going to show the power of that name. It's a terror unto those that are against it to even utter it. Ben, um pockets and clusters of uh, an organization called the Black Hebrew Israelites in some of the larger cities and urban areas across the United States. Whether or not there is any link whatsoever to uh, this, those who are propagating uh, this message and, and uh, promoting these flyers uh, versus um, the, uh, the horrific attack in Jersey City is something that um, we simply do not know. The signs have been taken down, but you can still see the remnants of this one, part of the sign and the tape, and it was hanging just steps away from the market. There has been an increase in anti-Semitic violence in the L.A. area. The LAPD just released this video of a suspect accused of vandalizing cars in three Jewish schools between December 14th and 16th. And this is the man police say vandalized the Nessa Synagogue in Beverly Hills, desecrating a Torah and damaging other items. Sadly, part of a steady drumbeat of hate that we've seen in America. Her shot will be part of a special town hall for action to combat anti-Semitism tonight in Beverly Hills. Amy Johnson, C You Edomites are through. Your left-hand magic is no longer working, especially you Amalekite Edomites who call yourselves so-called Jewish. Even though persecution is going to come to the men of the Lord, these people can see right through your BS. When we go to the comments of this video, what do we see? How many years until looking at a Jew the wrong way is considered a hate crime? I say five. Babylon and Esau Edom are done. Nation of true biblical Hebrew Israelites, all praises to the one and only true omnipotent Hebrew Israelite God, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. Hey, this is what Esau doesn't want to see. Jake waking up, but it's too late. Isn't Yahawashai the Hebrew name for Jesus? So if the sign said Jesus is coming, would they be attacking Christians? Or is this part of an agenda? Then they say it may be connected to Jersey when investigators said they acted alone. And why are they saying black Hebrew Israelites while showing a picture of a white guy on video? These news reporters don't even try no more. It's getting real pathetic. Back in Isaiah 29. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? First and foremost, the men of the Lord exposing these videos, and then these other people seeing through the BS and calling out the, the just nonsensical nature of it. Is everything anti-Semitism now? Am I anti-Semitic? Yahweh Shai is coming back. Looks like you're worried now. To learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticize. A okay, point blank period. And now I'm going to go to an example in uh, the book of Acts chapter 5 to show how the apostles were persecuted for preaching in the name of Yahawashai and how we're going to go through the same thing. But don't get weak, Akim. Just know that when persecution comes your way, that means Yahawashim Yahawashai is dealing with you. This is Acts chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 17 to get a little bit of the backstory. Then the high priest rose up, and they all that were with him, which is of the sect of the Sadducees, and were filled with indignation, and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the common prison, which is what the powers that be are about to do, or, or is what they're about to do to the men of the Lord, cast us into these detention centers and FEMA camps. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, Go, stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard that, they entered into the temple early in the morning and taught. But the high priest came and they that were with him 
and called the council together and all the Senate of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came and found them not in the prison, they returned and told, saying, the prison truly found we shut with all safety and the keepers standing without before the doors. But when we had opened, we found no man within. Now, when the high priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these things, they doubted of them whereunto this would grow. Then came one and told them, saying, Behold, the men whom ye put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. And when they had brought them, they sent them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? They were making a man an offender for a word, and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us, which is what the true men of the Lord are doing right now, because uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And the prophets are filling Jerusalem with the true doctrine of Yahweh by Hashim Shai, breaking all these uh, strongholds of spiritual wickedness, such as Christianity, Islam, the American dream, Buddhism, or any other philosophy out there. The true men of the Lord, which is a GMS, a great millstone, are also breaking the strongholds of these other camps out here, which are uh, completely butchering the scriptures and uh, showing that they don't have the truth. And that they're actually going to lead a lot of you Israelites astray because of their uh, wayward doctrines. And that's going to ultimately end up in your death if you don't uh, turn away from these other camps. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the Most High rather than men. Which to you sincere Akiam out there, that's the spirit you should be in right now. Because with the Most High behind you, who can stand in front of you? The power of our fathers raised up Yahawashai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. And in a spiritual sense, that's what these Edomites have done to Yahawashai today in America. When you go to Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, it says uh, that they put Yahawashai back on a cross. And uh, that's what they did when they put up that false image of uh, Caesar Borgia as Yahawashai, calling him so-called Jesus Christ, saying that this is what the Savior looks like. And insinuating that the the father is also a so-called white man and that the angels look like so-called white people. Just complete madness. Him hath the most high exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost whom the most high hath given to them that obey him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. Then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Theudas, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400 joined themselves, who was slain, and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him, he also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And as it says in Romans chapter 15, all things written aforetime were written for our learning, in a modern sense, you can look at this as these different groups that rose up in the past to try to unite Israel to come against Esau, Edom. But since they were councils of men, they came to naught. They weren't teaching the truth in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Some examples are uh, the Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, the Five Percenters, Kemet, or the Black Conscious Community. What happened to most of them? They were infiltrated, and now they're back to pushing the status quo, which is what they would like to do to GMS, but it's not happening. Verse 38, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply 
he be found even to fight against the Most High. And this council definitely is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And anybody coming against it is fighting against the Most High himself. And you're going to fail miserably. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go, making a man an offender for a word. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Again, Akim. Consider all persecutions and everything that comes your way in this truth gladness because it shows you how by Shem Yahweh Shai is dealing with you and uh, you've got a chance of being in that elect number and be set and being saved from these coming calamities of Jacob's trouble. And besides, Yahweh Shai was persecuted for uh, teaching the true will of his father. So how much more his servants? This is John 15 verse 20 to 21. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Yahweh Shai is coming. Police investigating anti-Semitic signs, vandalism throughout L.A. area. You shall be persecuted for my name's sake, but just endure until the end, Akim. I'm going to close out with Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, being persecuted, having your uh, so-called friends and loved ones turn against you and turn you into the authorities, getting cast into these detention sitters, whatever terrible thing comes your way. Behold, the devil, El Diablo, the deceiver, Esau, Edom, shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. The hour of temptation, whether you're going to take the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast or not, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days, which just means a, a complete tribulation for whatever your lot is. Be thou faithful unto death, because some of us will be martyrs in this truth. And if that's your lot, then so be it. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer, and I will give thee a crown of life. Being of that elect number, getting those new spiritual bodies, being crowned by Yahweh Shai himself, and being the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven, putting this world back in order, bringing back the two-thirds, and putting your foot sideways in the ass of these heathens, chiefly Esau, Edom. So with this video, I hope you sincere Akim were edified. Just keep strong and endure until the end, because we're almost out of the final wicked captivity of these heathens, chiefly Esau, Edom. And as always, I'm going to say a Baba Ball, Kwame Asherala. Till next time, Shalom.